The former minister, who is also a former director of the Media and Publicity Campaign Committee of former President Goodluck Jonathan, is standing trial alongside the former minister of finance, Nenadi Usman, one Danjuma Yusuf, and a company, Joint Trust Dimension Nigeria Limited. The EFCC alleges that between January and March 2015, they all conspired to directly and indirectly retain various sums of money which they reasonably ought to have known were proceeds of theft. They were arraigned in June on a 17-count charge to which they pleaded not guilty. The court subsequently granted them bail. The EFCC has opened its case with the testimony of the first prosecution witness, a media consultant, with Paste Posters Company, Mr. Idowu Lushegun. The witness told the court that he received the sum of 30 million naira in cash from the Office of the Director of Media and Publicity of the PDP campaign organization. The money, which was for printing posters and flyers, was paid through one Oluba Deoke, who the witness said he believed was interfacing between him and the Director of Media, Mr. Femi Fani Kayode. In one of its charges, the EFCC had alleged that Olubode Oke is currently on the run. In answer to his question on why the money was paid in cash, the witness said he was told that this was the approved means of payment. Apart from the 30 million naira contract, the publicity campaign office also gave him a media consultancy job worth 24 million naira, which is yet to be paid. Presiding Justice Muslim Sule Hassan has admitted in evidence the certified true copy of the proposals written by the witness on which basis the PDP media and publicity campaign gave him the contracts. The proceedings ended with the testimony of the witness and further proceedings were adjourned till the 14th and 15th of November. A few days before the day's proceedings, Mr. Fani Kayode had raised an alarm that the EFCC planned to re-arrest him even though the court already granted him bail. His counsel raised the issue in court and asked Justice Hassan to protect his clients. Counsel to the EFCC, however, told the court that there was no plan to arrest the first defendant in connection with the same charge, but he could not say the same about other charges pending against the defendant. As he stepped out of the courtroom, Fanny Kayode told journalists that he would not be intimidated by the tyranny of his prosecutors. They will not take my life. I am not scared. I am not intimidated. I will not be silenced. And I'm very proud of the fact that the Nigerian people are beginning to understand what's going on in this country. They can re arrest me a thousand times, torture me, lock me up, beat me, deprive me of food and my phones. They can do anything to me. I will never change. I know that the commission uh, will not arrest anybody without uh, allegation, fresh allegation leading to another set of proceedings, different from the one before the Federal High Court Lagos Division. That is what I know, because the core values of the Commission is professionalism, integrity and courage. So I know we never work outside the realm of the law. Indeed, Channel TV gathered that there are fresh charges pending against Mr. Fani Kayode before another court in Abuja, the Federal Capital Territory, and his re-arrest as he left the courtroom might not be unconnected with those charges. He was approached by men of the EFCC who asked him to follow them and he was subsequently led to a waiting bus and driven away. In another case at the same Federal High Court, the trial of the former Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Adishola Mosu and 10 others before Justice Mohamed Idris was stalled by the Defense Counsel. The testimony of the first prosecution witness was halted on the cross-examination when one of the defense counsel raised an objection about his credibility and demanded that he tender his international passport to prove his identity. The EFCC objected, insisting that this was a ploy to delay the trial. But despite the objection, the court ruled that it was in the interest of justice to grant the request. The former chief of air staff and 10 others are standing trial for alleged conspiracy and conversion of about 22.8 billion naira belonging to the Nigerian Air Force. They had previously given an indication that they would enter a plea bargain with the EFCC and had even given up some of the assets and monies traced to them. But in what could be described as a breakdown of talks, the EFCC has opened its case against them by calling its first witness. The cross-examination of the witness will continue on Monday, the 24th of October.
Shalash Channels Television News.